Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up for you, Sagittarius. For the month of May. Okay, let's start off with the Eight of Cups. Now this is, talks about exiting a situation. It can talk about leaving or relocating, going on some sort of journey, attracting some sort of foreign international person or opportunity. Um, but I think it's more to do that you're moving towards something here, Sagittarius. I feel for a lot of you, May could really start off where you're wandering around a lot, okay? You might be a little bit disoriented. You might lack a bit of direction, potentially. You're not really sure whether to stay or go in a situation. I'm not necessarily seeing indecision. I am seeing you taking some sort of action here, Sagittarius. Um, so I feel like with the Eight of Cups, some sort of journey is going to commence. And that notion of a journey is also evidenced through the Fool because he represents taking the first steps, the, the leaps, the first steps off the precipice here. But before we get to the full, um, I do want to mention that there is a moon pictured with the Eight of Cups, and you do have the sun behind the full, so there could be divine masculine and divine feminine connection. Um, it's almost like you're coming together with someone here. If this is a romantic connection um, or a partnership of some kind here, I think it could be more romantic. Um, I feel like right now you might be worlds apart or you're sort of etching closer to this person now they may not necessarily show up into your life in the month of may um i still feel like there's some blocks here it's almost like there's two cards that stand in your way so i would say there's an obstacle for this person and an obstacle for this person so whichever you identify as um i feel like there's something that stands in your way here Preventing you from possibly reconnecting with this person, meeting with this person, you know, doing this business deal, whatever it is. Um, and, and it is a very scattered time, so I'm not really surprised to see that. Um, the Five of Pentacles is here, and it makes me believe that there is something that's a little bit underwhelming or possibly overwhelming. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily tied in with an earth sign or, or money. Or feeling helpless in a situation i do feel like some of you are going to take the first steps in seeking help or assistance in something um, maybe you thought you didn't need help in this sagittarius maybe you thought you could manage it all on your own um, but i feel like it's it's coming to a time where you need to ask for that assistance um, because the five of pentacles it's the assistance is given with the six but the five is is the precursor to the six and I mean, interestingly, you do have the Nine of Pentacles that sits right next to it. So I'm inclined to think that whatever it is, whatever sort of situation you're finding yourself in, if there's lack and limitation, I think that could absolutely be turned around. So I think that's quite positive. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of complacency and happiness and being in a very comfortable position. I don't know if this is... It could be a bit of a carefree attitude towards something. Um that's coming up around you. I feel like the Nine of Pentacles does have an element of finesse about them and it could be quite a lavish gesture or an amount of money or something romantic uh, that's going to be sort of prepared for you or even like someone who, what, intending to surprise you in some way. But I feel like it's it's a very carefree, happy-go-lucky energy. I feel like sometimes the fool can represent that sort of energy. Can it be being na naive and gullible in a situation? It can, Sagittarius. There might be something here. I don't think you're necessarily not cluing onto it. I think you possibly don't want to believe this. There's something happening potentially around you and you may feel like you may attach a bit of skepticism to it. Could be a person. Uh, could be a situation, could be something that you hear about or something you know is happening. Uh, but I feel like in some way you're sort of, I mean, in, in one way, if you are treating it with the Nine of Pentacles, I think there's a, there's a part of you that's sort of like just letting it slide, like letting it go and not letting it affect you as much as it, what it could, not letting it poison you anymore, not letting you, not letting it 
upset you anymore. And maybe that's where that new beginning is coming in. But I definitely feel some of you might be walking away from a situation or a person. And it's not going to be easy. The moon can definitely symbolize anxiety, worry, um, emotional sensitivity. And it's sort of what you're what you're entering into this month in May. Um, it could be an, a, a Cancer with the Moon card and Aries coming in around you, potentially. Uh, someone destined. Um, the Fool card can be travel and immigration issues. Um, I feel like the Fool wants to take some sort of journey. I, I do feel like it can be solitude. Maybe some of you need to take... You sort of need to stand out from the crowd, he said. And it might involve you doing something you hadn't thought about doing. Um... But the fool can be a new, a new chance, a chance at something here. But I do want to say the fact that the eight of cups, the five of pentacles, the fool is here. I think it's, I think it is gullible energy. And if it's not happening to you, it's happening to someone maybe about you. Uh, maybe someone's being very naive. Okay, it could be a work colleague, a friend. Maybe someone's sort of displaying. Or it's sort of they're not they're not letting things show as 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 bad as they are, and I say bad because maybe the five of pentacles, I don't know. I mean, with the eight and the five, maybe there's an issue here that needs to be addressed, and someone doesn't want to do it. I think the way they're presenting themselves with the six of wands, whether this is you or them, I think it's it's the most it's the furthest thing from the truth. Uh, so there could be a little bit of disguising happening. It's all just keeping up appearances here. But look, if that Five of Pentacles, you know, really is nothing to worry about, um, I'm sensing that there could be, it could be something to do with finances or maybe on the career front, I guess, during this time. Uh, but, you know, the fact is you do have victory around you, Sagittarius, because you're the ones and you are coming up as a Six of Wands. So there's a lot of power and leadership and people looking to you because you'll be known for something here and it's you that's taking the initiative i do feel like there might be some sort of reconciliation with the six of cups can be anything around the family okay reconciliation of family of children fertility uh it could be meeting with someone from your past or something in its early stages now the children can represent uh you know, the inner child, childhood dreams, uh, nurturing those dreams. They can represent education. can also represent innocence and gullibility, which I've mentioned before in the reading. Um, but it's a very beautiful card, and I feel like you're looking to that. And I do want to say, Sagittarius, some of you have to go through these other cards to get to this energy that you're seeing right here. And it's not going to be easy. I think it's going to be a bit of a bumpy road for you in May. Um, but I think ultimately it's all going to be worth it, Sagittarius. I don't even know if this is you exiting something, like walking away from something in your life and then feeling the loss, feeling so helpless, um, and then feeling good about it and then feeling like, did I make the right decision? Am I going on a new start? Should I go back to this person or should I go back to pursuing that dream? But then you just get this motivated energy and... It's all well worth it with the Six of Cups. It's a beautiful card of harmony and happiness and just being in the moment. It's that complacency. So whatever it is that you're fighting for, maybe, whatever it is that you're wanting to walk away from, whatever it is that you're searching for, um, Sagittarius, it's going to take you on an exciting, you know, maybe even chaotic adventure. And I almost want to say it's all going to be worth it. So... Is it worth it, Sag? Absolutely, yes. You know, it's so worth it. Very, very exciting, I feel. Um, but I will leave your reading at that. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Please look after yourselves and each other. And bye for now.